Hello guys, Carlos Monk is here, and today we will proceed with adding some details on our head mesh. Uh, so sorry that I'm snorting, but I'm sick. So, first of all, what we need to do, I believe we will create uh, this low mesh backup, and I believe we don't need any more any of this. Uh, images for reference so we'll go to the high show so hide camera switch so okay so the images won't be disturbing us great and no worries in the side view or a top view we will see over this can with images it's only on the perspective view okay so I will duplicate this uh, this uh, cockpit of uh, our spaceship I'll create new layer back up head okay and just we'll add to a backup layer so in order to have any low mesh uh, starting point <coughs> so that's why I'm doing this backup okay uh, so what we can do in here we can extrude some faces around the head <coughs> so let's start from the side let's select uh, the faces go under edit mesh and if where the key faces together is ticked just untick it okay and let's try to extrude I will extrude around uh, one in translate axis and uh, for a scale I will pick the 0.9 something like that oh, great so let's do the same thing on the bottom and maybe I won't select this two because I'm planning in the future add some uh, some kind of big gun okay so I'll just extrude these faces one and for a scale point nine great Okay, we'll do the same in here. One in the translate axis and 0.9 for a scale. What is that? Okay. Hmm. I was already selected that one. Even didn't saw that. Okay. I'll select that one. I'll extrude it. One and for a scale. 0.9 great okay and I believe it will be good enough so if you want you can add some kind of bolts down here or something like that I believe you know already how to create some kind of bolt but if you don't know let's try to create a, some kind of um, bolt I believe it will be a subdivisions for a 16 and will be okay we can add some caps and um, I will just move a little bit this gap. Okay. And in here we can or we can uh, just create straight lines in here and delete all others or we can just select these lines and create some kind of different shape something like that oops don't forget to uh, take the keep, face, uh, keep faces together and extrude it okay something like that it will 
B, I believe. It will be okay. Extrude it one more time. We can extrude it one more time and under local axis we'll try to extrude it here. Point nine. Oops. Point nine. Okay. So if we will smooth we will get in the result and final result something like that. We can do not smooth that. Okay. I believe it will be great. It's just a bolt and you really won't see any Thing. So we we'll go to moving tool. When I was selecting this uh, bolt, just press the V key and select the uh, vertex. Okay. Then I will try just position or just center the pivot. Try to position under this surface. Can shrink it down a little bit. Can go to the side view. It will be easier. And I believe can drag it. Freeze transformation. Duplicate this uh, bolt. Add it in here. Freeze transformation. Duplicate the bolt. And that down here. Okay, so basically we have these bolts. And if you want, you can create more bolts on each plane. Uh, plane. Or you can play with it, or you can create some kind of different bolts. It depends on you. Okay, but in my case, I will delete these bolts. I don't like them. Alrighty. And we will proceed uh, with this uh, square holes, and I believe we can create in the future or some kind of penetrating light from these uh, squares, or we can just uh, try to extrude some kind of pipe. So, if we want to extrude the pipe, we can select the under create CV curve, and go to the side view. And I will try to extrude it with a polygonal faces because in previous tutorial I was showing you how to extrude with a nerve surfaces. Right now I will try to extrude it uh, with polygonal surfaces. Okay, so <coughs> just try to match this uh, hole. Great, and. Uh, I'll just move a little bit. Oops. Okay, something like that. I believe it will be great. <sighs> okay, so we have a path. Whoops. So we have a path and we can create right now a polygonal surface like uh, this simple uh, cylinder. Just select the bottom, delete. I'll go to the custom, center the pivot of this object. Grid, snap to the grid. And when this object is selected, I will go to the Frame view and the v key, v key Victor will try to snap it on this pivot or somewhere here. Just hmm. a second, I'll go to face mode, select that one, and try to do it again. Okay, so we have some.
Hmm. Some kind of problem, wait a second. Okay, select the object, select some kind of vertex point, select it grade, and try to snap it to the You don't want just don't want to snap to the curve. Okay, let's try to adjust it manually. So basically, it's something like this, I believe. The path will be something like that. Okay. Uh huh. So I will go to the face mode. Select just select all this face faces uh, for our cylinder. Select the curve, and we can go under edit mesh and under extrude options just open the extrude face options and uh, as you see by default it's selected so we're choosing the selected uh, curve to extrude this uh, face polygons so it's basically great if we will select the generate and get generated so it will automatically generate a curve and after it you can manage it or you can just press no and obvious it won't use any curve okay so we'll press apply and we've created a simple extrusion uh, by our curve but as you see it's a little bit strange when the curve going like this he she or it sorry have a basic uh, bends and our polygonal faces are straight it's because we don't have any divisions as you see down here so we will select divisions and try to slightly increase it okay but in polygonal face we have a max option 25 so a simple problem but you can extrude with uh, NURB surfaces it will be great okay so basically this is it or you can set use the twist if you need and taper ok something like that great and as you see we have uh, inversed faces so I believe you know what to do go to normals and reverse it but we still have a curve so we need to simply uh, clear the history and delete the curve great so I believe you will create uh, some pipes down here and if you want to you will add some balls on this metal and what we can do next and I believe we can just a little bit shrink it down with something like that because the squares I believe it's looking too big for me let's try to do something like that okay okay it will be great so, uh -huh. okay, guys. So I'll extrude some pipes. I will add maybe some basic details as a bolts or something like that, and we will see you in next tutorial where we'll be, I believe, adding some details or recreating this uh, simple neck mesh and don't forget to back up everything okay so see ya guys